Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with the Snocks with Show. I'm here with the play of the day, which is soda, and I'm still in it, still in the whole thing. I actually did an ad. Very aggressive here to play this on out today, but I have a high level of conviction in it, and it really hasn't totally gone full on yet. Uh, sometimes gaps work in the morning are completely 100% done in the morning or make, you know, 80, 85% move in the morning. This, for some reason, for whatever reason, well, I know kind of the reason, uh, but did not go full on yet today. So, given the fact that it still has target in it, it was valid for an ad. This is really good. This is, this is going to be a huge trade for me here today if this works. I mean, I'm up in it, but let's just go over it here. So, was aggressive. Aggressive, boom, drop, rally back. Could have done an ad here, could have done an ad here. So many places for ads, but I waited. Okay, and, and I just waited one millisecond too long to do the morning ads. But then I saw it setting up here in the 15. <clears throat> I said, that's it. Boom. Took more. And the stop, actually, I only lowered by a smidgen. So I have a good amount of this now. Target on this is 21 for the next target, which... Once this actually breaks the area around 2165-ish, 2160-ish, I think this thing rock and rolls. It really hasn't gotten going yet today. The stock normally can move to two and a half, three dollars of the day. It's only moved like a buck or so or thereabouts. So this is like at least another dollar or more in here. I really think $20 is target with us today with the market. Now, whether the market falls through lower or not, it remains to be seen. But with the market, $20 in soda today is not even a dream target. It's actually the target. But the next target here is 21 on its own without the market. Time of the day is good here. It's 11.07. Time of the day for this to break the low is before 12 o'clock into the next number, which is 21. Okay? So we'll see where this goes. A stop in this was not small today, but you have to understand the stock and know exactly how it plays out and how it moves that it, you know, has uh, stops that usually can range from anywhere to 40, 35, 40 to 50, 60 cents. You know, you have to take the entry where it is. You're still looking for a good risk to work trade. You're still looking for a good 3R trade. Uh, depending on where this goes today, this could be actually more than 4Rs. We'll have to see. I didn't get out of any in the first drop in the morning. Some people did. Again, if you're a scalper, you can do that. You're, if you're a scalper, you could have scalped this a little bit. You could have actually taken every entry and scalped it. I don't like to trade like that. I don't trade like that. I just don't trade like that. But I think that people need to know exactly what their goals are for the targets and things and exactly what the exit rules are, which I teach in the class. And people have to need to know how to do their sizing properly so that it's consistent. The worst thing you can do is not have consistency in your sizing or your exits. If you're back and forth one day scalping, the next day holding the targets, you're just not going to see the same results. And your monetary risk needs to be the same in each trade that you take. When I do an ad, sometimes I risk more. I'm allowed to do that, though. I'm an advanced trader. I've been doing this for six years. I had a high level of conviction and so did the day to follow through. What happened here in the morning is people, there's actually traders that are trying to pick this up and here's a buy. And, and the fact that it's holding so well is giving more conviction it's lower. Not that it's going to flip because that isn't going to happen here today. Soda is lower. Soda is a short. Soda isn't a buy today. Soda was a golden gap today that actually uh, is working and holding extremely well and is on its own against the market. But with the market here this afternoon, this could go to some crazy number. And this is the type of thing that traders love to buy. It's a short in reference to what the institutions are doing with this today, though. So I'm reading the institutional positioning, not what traders are doing. I'm sure very few traders are actually shorting soda today, besides me in my live trading room, because many people look at this gap on soda as something that would fill the gap, okay? From the fall off it's had in here, the big red bar yesterday, many people would look this with this big gap down for this to actually flip and fill the gap. But it's a wrong way to read this here. Why? How do I know? I have a method to determine the directional bias of something, whether it is actually a long or a short. And I use that method, that rating system, each and every day when I get up in the morning and I look at gaps to determine what they're going to do. And that's how I can tell. And that's how I get it right so often. There were four golden gaps today. Three worked. One failed. And... Uh, so if you did everything today, actually, you have a massive day. Massive day if you did everything today on the on the top watch list. And it's earnings season. It's earnings season. I'm probably going to be rating anywhere from five to seven, eight things a day. 
And, and you know, if you, if you can do them all, if you've got the buying power, the wherewithal to manage them all and do them all, I mean, now is the time. Now is the time to make money. Great time to make money here. Look at this. Shota. Sota, Sota, Sota. Oh my gosh. Shota. Sota to 21 for sure. And possibly the break of that into 20. Wow. This is really going to... All right, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Here we go. We'll see how this does. I'll do a final on this later. i got to pay attention to my train. Great day in the Stocks for Show Live Trading Wine Room for everybody that was there and uh, and kept the conviction. Golden Gap class is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, October 11th and 12th. If you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Class is 9 to 5. It's online. You can retake it anytime if you want to sign up for, for free. Now is the time to take the class, learn how to trade gaps, and be live trading with me. It's going to be a great October, November, and December. I am just hitting it here, and we're going to just have a fantastic close into this 2014 year and getting ramped up. Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Soda.